Hi, I'm James McClinsey, and I'm running for the Goshen School Board. I um, just want to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a tenured teacher, uh, team leader for my school. Uh, I have uh, been a, a mentor for new teachers as well as a crisis counselor. Um, I'm currently not in the field of education. I'm a patented inventor and product developer, which is just kind of a fancy way of saying that I put products in the pipeline for companies to license them. And I'm running uh, because I've, I've seen some areas which uh, need addressing with, with regards to education and finance. And uh, as an experienced educator working behind the scenes with administrators, I know that I can solve these problems. So I'm gonna dive in real quick and answer these questions as quickly as possible. Thank you for watching. Uh, let's see, how will you support academics, SEL, sports, and the arts within our school community? School, uh, social emotional learning. Uh, I've been a crisis counselor. Uh, I, I have a special spot for that. I think that health teachers and, and guidance counselors and everybody should be aware of that, as well as cross-curricular, holistically across the curriculum. Um, academics should automatically be supported, uh, especially with the, uh, the budget that we have. Um, the sports and the arts, I'm not a sports guy. Um, I recommend, or, or I recognize the competitive and camaraderie aspects of sports, and I've always been a fan of the arts. Um, you need much more funding. Unfortunately, this is one of the first things to fall uh, by the wayside when budgetary concerns come up. Um, uh, let's see, the next question, our schools are underfunded. Every club and sports team is often looking for money. Do you have ideas to ensure our students can focus on their clubs and sports and not constantly fundraising? I couldn't agree more. Um, however, I have to disagree and say that schools are not underfunded, they're funded irresponsibly. Uh, the budget is astronomical, yet kids have to collect box tops, have bake sales, and parents are charged for field trips. Uh, with a proposed budget of $83,700,000, there should be zero further burden on kids and parents. That's a 6.2% increase, uh, 6 increase, almost $5 million. Did, did you get an increase like that this year? I, I didn't either. Um, in a few, mil a few years, it's going to be $100 million, and, and what are we getting for it? Pavement for the Scotchtown Avenue School and still no AC in the classrooms? Well, okay, you know. I won't, I'd rather run through a pothole than have my kid be hot all day. It's, it's kind of silly. Uh, let's see. I've uh, judged young inventors. They have amazing ideas. I've signed uh, non-disclosure agreements. Um, I can't talk about that, but I'm, I'm, I have a point here. Uh, if we can put people in space, which came from ideas of kids, uh, um, we can provide everything without this ever-growing budget and get things reined in. Um, you have to go line by line and found out, find out what we can do for less money and do it. Just throwing money at education is not the answer. Fiscal responsibility is. Uh, I've been a union rep negotiating contracts. Sometimes you have to sit down and tell the unions, no, I'm sorry, we don't have the money for that. It's, it's just like telling a kid, no, eventually they're going to get it. You have to tell them, no, I'm sorry, we, don't, we can't spend the money on that right now. Um, it's really, really easy to spend other people's money irresponsibly, and I would put a stop for that. Stop to that. Uh, how will you work to improve the transparency and communication between administration and dealing with drug and alcohol issues? Um, I think that complete classroom transparency is the only way. We need programs much more effective than DARE. DARE is ineffective. Uh, health teachers and counselors, as, as well as uh, teachers, just like I said, across the board, holistically, cross-curricular, uh, should be ready to tackle the issues that are going to inevitably come up in our schools with uh, alcohol and drugs, and to watch for the signs of children that may be impaired. Uh, okay, should you be elected to the Board of Education, there'll be the community members who did not vote for you, whom you must still represent. How do you plan on representing their voices? Well, I'm going to say, make no mistake, the schools, the teachers, the staff, administration, and the BOA, uh, Board of Education, all work for the parents. We are to represent everyone, even if we differ on issues. That's basic. That should be with any position. If you call or email or text me with an issue, it will be addressed in as timely a fashion as, a po as possible, as effectively as possible, regardless of where anyone stands on a given issue. That's our job. That's how we do things. We're supposed to be here to serve, and that's what I will do. Um, I'm going to conclude by saying, uh, please go out and vote. We have a Board of Education budget vote on the 17th, and you're in a good place this year because there are no poor candidates for a Board of Education. I've looked in on my competitors. Um, I don't think you're going to make a bad choice. Uh, you're hoping to get a quality Board of Education, but you have to choose, even if it's not me. Make sure you vote for the person who you think will do the best job for our kids. And I am a parents and kids person first, we the parents. Go out and vote. I hope you vote for me, but if not, thank you anyway.